Good morning. I wanted to do an update on this math computation book by the Smart Alex series. It's grade two, and I actually got it from five and below. Um, I originally got it as an additional resource for my son for math, but after our um, usual curriculum just didn't really pan out for us, in my opinion, I decided to use this as kind of a go-between before we start our new curriculum in January. So this book co covers addition, subtraction, fact, families, place value, and regrouping, which are really the things that a child should learn in math for the second grade. Now it's a little, it's a little, um, ripped up because I just went through and graded everything and took out his, um, his certificate, but I wanted to show you guys anyway. Um, and again, if you look here, let's bring you a little closer. Um, so they talk about the number chart, which is something we've used since, I guess, like pre-K. Whole numbers, count by tens, tens and hundreds, hundreds and thousands, place values, adding with hundreds, tens, and ones, sums and differences, sums of 11 and 12, subtracting using a number line, which is nice, fact families, double digit addition, double digit subtraction, double digit with regrouping, hundreds, tens, and ones, module, models, um, and then there's a secret message, which I didn't have him do. All right, so this is the math chart that everybody's familiar with. It goes up to 100, and then they break it into whole numbers, and it's like fill in the blank to 100. And then this is just counting by tens, which was really simple, kind of a review. And then after he filled out this quick chart and they were counting by tens, he then had to go in and count by ones, filling in the missing numbers that came either before or after. Thank you, Atreyu. He's over there working. Please finish your work. And, all right, kid, finish your work. I want you quiet finishing. All right, here is tens and hundreds. So they have the little tens counters and the hundred counters, and he just had to add those things up. And if you can see, I've graded, so I've put in what he got wrong. This was just a review. And then we went here to counting by thousands. So, um, he did that and got to a thousand, counting to a thousand, I shouldn't say about thousands, counting to a thousand using, um, 50 increments and then counting by hundreds to get to a thousand. So they're just showing different ways to get to different numbers. Then he did count here by thousands to get to 10,000. All right. Then we went over here and they wanted to know how many hundreds he had for each picture and he did that all right then they went on to place value which i think is super important before you really get to the adding and subtracting um so here he just added each column and put those in which was really simple and then he did matching which is just another visual way to show you understand that concept and then he had here adding with hundreds tens and ones and i circled this because he had skipped it and i had him go back and do it again but as you see here, they use the actual numbers and then they use the words for the numbers here. Again, reinforcing different ways to learn the concept. And I will say, I'm just letting you kind of look over the format, that if your child hasn't been introduced to some of these topics, it might be a little hard just to do this as a standalone curriculum. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. All right, keep working. All right, no, keep working. All right, but like I was saying, if your child has not been introduced to some of these concepts, it may be a bit daunting for them to do this workbook as a standalone curriculum. You might have to introduce these topics and then have them do these worksheets for review because it doesn't, to me, teach them all these concepts. Luckily, my son um, has gotten this far in his um, online curriculum that he did have a decent understanding of what they were asking. We have some um, basic problems um, vertically and horizontally, and then some more um, addition problems as well. And then you did some adding and subtracting. And then this time you would have to circle the ones that equal the number. So I thought that was kind of cool. Again, reinforcing different things. They picked 11 and 12s here, 13s and 14s here. 15s and 16s, so just different sums that you'll get to 17s and 18s, 19s and 20s. Um, they did a little bit of number line work. There wasn't a whole bunch of number line work, but I wasn't mad at that because 
Um, I feel like in real life, who uses a number line, it's all problems. But it's good to have that in your, your you know, tool bag of knowledge. And then here you actually have the little objects, because some kids work best with, like, objects. We have little counter blocks that we also use. You use candy, different things as counters. Um, but, yeah, so this you could actually cross out, which was a great introduction to... Um, or I guess it was an introduction because you did do some subtraction already. But if your child wasn't good at subtraction, this is a good way to understand the concept of subtraction. And then they use just a lot of counters in these few problems. And then we, again, we get to some um, up and down math. And then we have more things that we could count. And then we start working with fact families. And again, a, a topic that you would have to probably introduce before doing these worksheets. But he had already been introduced. So he just went through and did his fact families. More fact family work. And then again, more for fact family work. So they did do that for a couple of pages. And then we get into the double digit. So this is double digit um, addition. Some more additional problems. And then double digit. I love how they break it into tens and ones to remind the children how to do it. Then we have double digit subtraction followed by a page of that. And then double digits with regrouping or borrowing which he he kind of um didn't really get that here where he was supposed to borrow so we'll go back and review those but they only gave a couple of problems so that's okay and then that was the end so all in all i really did enjoy this math computation we have um i think one or two more in the math alex series sorry smart alex series um that we're gonna be doing <laughs> So um, we'll see how he does, but I like at the end it has a little certificate. So I just put his name and the date and he'll get to have it as a little certificate to show he's completed the work. But um, like I said, I got this one five and below. Yeah, there. this is a Smart Alex series. So they do have um, different grade levels. They offer different things. But I would say it's worthwhile. I paid less than five bucks for the book. It was a lot thicker than some of the other workbooks we've had, and I thought that it really did a good job of kind of bridging us from our online curriculum to our new online curriculum. We'll be starting in January, just keeping this information fresh and reviewing it for him. So if you want to see any other um, curriculum type reviews, please do let me know. Have a great day.